How does an airplane fly? When an airplane is in flight, there are four main forces at work. Lift, weight, thrust, and drag. Lift is generated by the airplane, mostly by its wings, as it moves through the air. Weight is the force of gravity acting on an airplane and pulling it towards the ground. Thrust is the force that moves an airplane forward. In our airplane, it's created by the engine. Drag is the force that opposes the airplane's forward motion, and it is caused by the resistance of the air. Understanding these four forces is crucial for pilots to be able to control and maneuver their aircraft effectively. By adjusting the amount of lift, thrust, weight, and drag, pilots can achieve the desired outcome and safely navigate the skies. In aviation, we refer to two main theories of lift, Bernoulli's principle and Newton's third law of motion. First, Bernoulli's. Simply put, Bernoulli's principle states that as the speed of a fluid like air increases, its pressure decreases. So how does this apply to aviation? Let's consider an airplane wing. When the airplane is in flight, the curved shape of the wing and the angle at which the air meets the wing causes the air to flow faster over the top of the wing than underneath it. According to Bernoulli's principle, this means that the air pressure on top of the wing is lower than the air pressure underneath it. This difference in pressure creates a lifting force that allows the airplane to stay in the air. Now for Newton's. Newton's third law of motion states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. For example, when you row a boat, the water pushes back against the oars. This pushback is equal and opposite to the force you're exerting to move the boat forward. When an airplane is flying through the air, the air molecules strike the wing get deflected downward, and the air pushes back up against the wing, creating an upward, equal and opposite reaction force.